Okay, hello and welcome to our third episode in the Let's Multiplay series. We're just waiting for everybody to connect now, and then we'll be ready to go ahead. So, good luck to everyone, like we say. Speed 2 all the way, hopefully. And... who's having trouble connecting? This is always the most fun bit to watch, I'm sure. If I've uploaded this, it's because I'm lazy and or sadistic. And you can probably skip ahead a couple of minutes. Okay, let's go. Here we are. First things first, off of vassalization, and we'll see if this player. Oh, he's in the middle of a war at the moment, otherwise. He's defending against me, in fact. He's at war with me. Well, too bad for him, I guess. Uh, what are we at war for with Lancaster? Um, Carrick. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not sure why we're going home. Stay there. I see no reason to need to go home. Right. Just give everybody a couple of minutes to set stuff up before we get going. Uh, we don't want to create any titles, so we don't care. And it looks like we're going. He's. Um, Okay, looks like we're away. Um, we're just... Uh, I'm just trying to remember where I am. Looks like the Abbasids are AI again. Oh, hitting an autosave already. Which is kind of a shame. Uh, it was interesting to have him as a human player, but unfortunately he dropped at the very end of the last episode and doesn't seem to have made it back this episode. Oh, and we're getting this bug again. Fun times. 
Okay, uh, looks like Gabsthoria is back under the control of Game Gabster, which is scary. Uh, human played Viking craziness. Uh, we've actually got, I think, a good set of people in a good set of places this week. I'm no longer envious, even better. Um, so that should be interesting. Like, a lot of them are over here uh, in the, the Iron Throne or the Byzantine Empire. They seem to be vassalizing themselves to players. I'm going to be... I'll just tell this guy um, that I'm not likely to be on the chat much. If I can find where he is. Oh, that's Game Gabster. That's NG Paradox. Continue. Continue. Frustrating little pop-up. Right, where is his shield? It's there. Likely not going to be on the chat much. But it's worth saying it. Okay, we've taken Carrick, which means we've now got our ticking war score. He's not going to just let us have it though, because he's a pain like that. So we'll kill that army there, and then just siege. Probably we'll siege his castles um, rather than whoops a daisy although what we will do is we'll send these half up to deal with this annoying thing to stop them from sieging send these over here Looks like my vassal is going and doing some sieging of his own in Northern Ireland. And uh, we've got a player there now. Um, I feel sorry for the guy, he's new to Crusader Kings and he's just been dumped in the middle of a big war between me and Northumberland that he doesn't need to be involved in. But them's the breaks, I guess. So yeah, we'll get some decent money from sieging these holdings, or we'll get money from sieging those holdings anyway. Assuming this guy doesn't want to just give me stuff. Now, I did only declare war for Carrick so that we could help out in Lancaster, um, so that we could help Cthulhu's bro become our vassal. But this is also useful um, just to take Carrick. We might as well. We're not going to peace out for fun. Looks like he's hired some mercenaries and he's now... Uh, He's now attacking our vassal. However, I don't think he's going to be able to keep hold of those mercenaries for very long, so we won't have to worry about it. It's fine. There's a lot of chatter going on. Meanwhile, not much else. We are apparently trying to kill Ragnar Lodbrok. Well, that's not very pleasant. And nobody wants to join us, so it feels like that's a pointless attempt. I think it was an attempt to stop him from attacking us or stop him from being so powerful, but... Oh, we can imprison him because he's got a plot going to kill somebody. Well, that's fine. I feel like we should increase our centralization, even though we don't hold much. It's good to have good centralization. So let's see about getting that up. So the person who was previously the Duchy of the Isles over here, who wasn't in the second game, has now become the Duke of Denmark, or the Duke of Schelland, I guess. So I feel like he's a bit of a traitor, but to be fair, we did take his entire duchy and break it up into small counties, so hey. 
That's how we roll in Pictland. I'm interested to know what's going on in the rest of it. What are their plans here? Because these guys, they've been nice to each other so far. But I don't think that this balance of power can last forever. And I think something is going to have to break at some point. Obviously, the main thing is that everyone, pretty much everyone in both realms is human. Um, we've got some big, big human vassals in the Iron Throne. They're all being very loyal. And we've got some reasonably sized vassals, although they're all tribal, over in the Byzantine Empire as well. And as long as they're... As long as they're loyal, then these empires are just going to be massive and strong. But if those very strong vassals decide that they want something else, then we're going to run into some problems. Uh, it looks like we've got Cthulhu's Bro lagging behind. And go. Back up to speed two. Speed two, please. Okay. So yeah, this should be an easy enough war. Ugh. Player disconnected bug. See how much money we get from sieging these castles. We've got we've got a castle there, a castle there. I've forgotten which other ones we were going to try and I think our air holds land. Where has he landed? He's landed down here. So we're going to try and improve this one as much as possible. Oh, he's improving it with some other nonsense now. It's rubbish. Okay. This uh, spreading out and sieging isn't working for this stack anymore, so we'll combine them. The Empire invades Britannia? Oh dear. What's going on? Well, the Empire isn't invading Britannia. Get a decent amount of money from sieging a city. Not as much as from looting it, but decent amounts. It doesn't hurt to have that money. So I wish there was like a map mode which showed you what level everything was upgraded to. This guy's stuff we kind of want to upgrade as well. Or really anything that our direct vassals hold we kind of want to upgrade. Keep lagging behind. But yeah, this is really the one we'd like to concentrate on upgrading. Yeah, some decent money. Or were we focusing on getting castle towns up instead? I really can't remember. Let's do that. So I know that castle towns will give me money. And I don't really care about anything else. More money is what we want. armies and holdings you don't you don't have anything getting a lot of a bit weird buggy stuff here at the moment 
hopefully it'll smoothen out. It tends to smoothen out after the first 15 minutes, maybe. Um, and a couple of people tend to drop off in that time as well. And then it's smooth sailing for another almost two hours. NG Paradox lagging now. I'm very sorry, this is probably not making for a very interesting game to watch the uh, constant in and out of sinks that we're having. Uh, give breath a chance. So are you really a better marshal? This guy, this guy is a pretty good marshal. He can train our troops. Yes, please. Uh, go down to Durham. Start sieging that. He's not accepting. It's not a particularly worthwhile province for him. But he's really, really not keen on giving it up to us. Uh, you can have a better earth hill fort. I'm feeling generous. And what do we have here? Just a level 1 earth hill fort and market village. That's fine. Okay, there's nothing else worthwhile to be doing here. Haven't captured anybody to ransom, sadly. Uh, you should probably fabricate some claims somewhere, but we'll wait till the war's over until we start on that. And we don't have enough money to do it anyway, so there's no point trying to start now. Because um, we're probably going to try and vassalize this guy, and he'll be alright. Meanwhile, we tick up in war score. And also, the game isn't moving. That's Jenny, a sign someone's about to disconnect. NG Paradox is lagging behind. Seems to have caught up. Speed 2. Having some stability issues today, but that's what happens when you get 22 people in a big multiplayer game. Um, stability issues. So we've got Cafrodun and Quiden as our two castles. I feel like maybe we should build more cities here as well, or build another city here and maybe a castle here. Actually no, castle in the capital, city there. Sounds like our best option. Oh, we've got a child needs educating. My son! Let's educate him ourselves. There we are. It's nice to be in this position where we're not really threatened by anything. It's a shame we don't have very many de Gure claims though. Oh, this has been looted by somebody. Huh, probably evil Vikings. Evil Vikings. And what's going on here? We've got a big what? Sjælander revolt in Trig Trigger's war for Sjælander. Hmm. Tough luck. Player disconnected. No, they didn't. Nobody's disconnecting. Perfect. Oh yes, we're trying to make this guy like us so that he doesn't be a pain. Because he's probably going to be a pain, let's face it. Let's start fabricating claims. Don't care really which bits of Ireland, just anywhere in Ireland, please. There we are. Do you want to give up yet? No. He's plotting again. He's at it again. How many... No, we need the entire levy there to siege that down. 
Is it a castle? No, of course it's a church. It's Durham. What about that? That's a city. Actually, we could siege that city down, no problem. Because it was siege down quite recently. Oh no, wait. Dur that city is actually under our control already. Because um, Dublin took it over. Because we helped Dublin take it over. That was the point. What's going on here? Connacht. What are you up to, Connacht? You are in a war. Ah, you're in a, two wars in Wales. Connacht has Welsh allies. Well, no problem. We could conscript merchant ships. Not gonna. Oh yeah, how's our money? 4.25 now. So I think we gained another 0 0.6 a month from that castle town. Which is pretty good. Not going to found the Holy Roman Empire, I think. Yeah, not going to happen. NG Paradox could do it, but I don't think he's going to because he's already got the Empire of Francia. Thanks to dear old daddy Carl, Emperor Pepin the Hunchback. He's a hunchback and a bastard, but he's ambitious, so. Ambition gets you a long way. Oh yes, of course, the College of Cardinals. Have we got any Cardinals? We do! Cardinal Connell of Connor. <laughs> Cardinal Connell of Connor is a Cardinal. Not likely to get the next one. We could have way more troops than this active if we wanted. Okay, siege down the church. He's still not going to surrender. Nope. This uh, this county is very important to him. It's very important. Um, right, what's my de Jure duchy? Can we get any of them? No. Oh well, no worries. I kind of want to get my stuff in my Dio Duchy just set up. Oh well, whatever happens now, it's only going to take a couple more months until we win. Less than that, probably. We might as well siege down the city and take the money anyway. And I think that'll be uh, faster than. Um, faster than waiting to get to 100% naturally anyway. Oh, more lagging. We were doing so well for a little while there. There we are. Caught up. We were playing on speed 2 for a whole 5 minutes. It was amazing. Right, he's at 100%. He has to say yes. There we are. We now have this. He's my vassal. He's Anglo-Saxon. He's very angry. He's got a claim on the chiefdom of Galloway and the chiefdom of Lut. Well, once these guys get home, disband them. Did we have a retinue? We don't. Can we build a retinue yet? We can. We could build a retinue. We could build our special Pictish Raiders retinue. It's a uh, 387 cap usage for 375 troops. That's a pretty good ratio, let's do it. Speed up again. Should be fine. Right, this guy. We'll offer him vassalization. Hopefully he'll say yes. If not, we'll fabricate some claims on him. not saying anything. <laughs> it's just ignoring us. How rude. How extremely rude.
<laughs> oh dear. Well, he's considering it at least. Meanwhile, not much, I guess. This is kind of the problem with only having one border. Well, it's not even the border. We just we don't have claims anywhere else. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, do you have a duchy you could create? The Duchy of Ulster. I might make him a duke if I can afford it. It's time to end such affairs and settle down. There we are, 169 gold. Once I have the money, I'll make him a duke. Um, what was I saying? Does he have. He has a claim on Brefni. Well then. This guy's allies are nobody I care about. Let's do it. Everybody to Ulster. We've got a water fight. Seventeenth June, twelfth June. Disband you then. What's his flag? It's the hand, is it? Down there. And somebody can educate her, somebody I don't care about. Okay, a thousand dudes, that'll do. Let's go. Three hundred more dudes, let's go. Everyone there. In fact, you guys. All of you guys come down to there. Lollard Revolt. Oh, somewhere. Told me about five times, so I should have listened. Ugh, what a pain. We might need mercenaries for them. Um, you want to educate my daughter. Fine. Fine. Go get him. Uh, we might be able to take on this revolt, although actually having said that, we'll probably need to buy some mercenaries to deal with it. Frustratingly. Is this contributing to war score? Because there's some other people there and I'm not sure who they are, but we seem to be fighting them. It is contributing to war score. Oops, a daisy, we've accidentally retreated from that battle, but he's retreating as well. <laughs> so that's alright. How strange. We still win. Just head straight up to Brefni. Oh, yeah. Got him now.
Excellent. And we captured, whoa, loads of people. Let's just enforce those demands. Head on back up there. Get some more troops. Everyone there. See if we can ransom some of these people off. 25 gold for him and 70 gold for him means we should be able to get some mercenaries to defeat these guys up here. Oh, what? I didn't click that. Oh, Kate has been converted. Wonderful. That's good. Glad you managed to convert it so quickly. Right, we've got problems. I didn't realise we had problems, but we've got problems. Heretic problems. Right, cheap mercenaries. These guys are the cheapest I can see. I hate having to spend mercenary on uh, money on mercenaries to defeat rebels. But such is the way of rebels. And we now own half of Ireland. I wonder if we could create the kingdom. We could. How much does that cost? Kingdom of Ireland. 334 gold. Well... That sounds reasonable, you know. Probably, rather than declaring war on anyone, we're just going to create the Kingdom of Ireland and then um, press Dieu claims or otherwise vassalize everyone in Ireland. Because currently they won't due to, well, being at war is not helping, but not Dieu liege. I think that I'll be able to, once I'm there, de Geer Liege, I'm a foreign culture, but I think I'll still be able to. If not, I'll be able to press the de Geer claims anyway, it's fine. We're using a lot of money on mercenaries. We'll get a bit of it back from uh, killing these guys, because they have money from sieging, but still. Oh, they've defeated one of our flanks as well. Wonderful. This is good. I like losing to rebels. Goodness, what? This is crazy. Okay. Just going to have to surrender that then. Before they take anything else. And we'll holy war them later. They won't be difficult to beat. Yeah, they've disbanded a lot of the troops there. They won't be difficult to beat, and nobody will come to their aid because they're lollards, but... Yeah, they just thrashed us. How horrible. How horrible. Okay, so it started off well, it kind of got bad. Uh, we can't proselytize there anymore, so get back to... Well, no, let's just check, because I just wasn't aware of that. There's a Waldensian there as well. Well, we can probably go and get him. Um, go and improve religious relations with the Pope again. Meanwhile, you have no allies. Whoops, wrong button. And you have, well, you have a thousand troops because you've got, you had rebels as well. Okay. Do we have a truce with these guys? They have a truce with us. We can declare war on them whenever we like. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, we seem to have decreased in speed at some point. I wasn't paying attention there. My bad. A 
Ugh. Ugh. Cold tea. The worst. Let's get our popular customs up. Want to get our castle infrastructure improved keep.